The VN-22 is a family of Chinese-wheeled 6x6 armored fighting vehicles intended for export. Designed and produced by Norinco, it was first unveiled at the 13th China International Aviation and Aerospace Exhibition in 2021. Since the VN-22 was designed to be modular, the platform can be mounted with a variety of different turrets housing various weapon systems. Thanks to a video published by Open Source Intelligence. It was revealed that the Chinese company Norinco has equipped one of its 6x6 VN-22 wheeled armored combat vehicles with what appears to be a laser-directed energy weapon system. These images, published on social media, mention the presence and arrival of the vehicle at the 2024 Zhuhai Airshow, an aerospace technology and innovation fair to be held in Zhuhai, Guangdong, China in November. In this context, a previously unknown variant of Norinco's 6x6 VN-22 was spotted in recent hours, along with other vehicles featuring new equipment and capabilities. Until now, the family of wheeled armored vehicles, primarily focused on export, has featured variants aimed at armored personnel transport APC and infantry combat IFV equipped with both manned and unmanned turrets. These come with a variety of armament options, ranging from light and heavy machine guns to 30mm cannons. Through the videos and images collected, a new variant of the 6x6 equipped with a new unmanned turret with various detection sensors can be seen at the Zhuhai Airshow 2024. This sparked online discussions regarding its potential use. With comments highlighting this feature as a counter-drone or counter-unmanned aircraft system for detecting, tracking, and destroying unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs. Although no further details have been provided about this new directed energy or laser-based counter-drone system. Potentially a UAV jamming system Norinco's decision to equip one of its 6x6 reflects a growing trend in the military industry. Wheeled armored vehicles, known for their high mobility, are increasingly being equipped with new air defense systems, whether based on cannons or more advanced laser systems. This is evident in various proposals from companies, some of which have already been adopted by the US Army, such as the Stryker MS Horad, equipped with a 50 kW laser system developed by Raytheon. The VN-22 6x6 was first introduced by Norinco in May 2022 as an armored vehicle designed for personnel transport, patrol, reconnaissance missions, and peacekeeping operations, among other combat missions. One of its key features is the adoption of a new engine, which, along with an independent suspension system and a mine-resistant hull design, provides a balanced combination of mobility, crew protection, and firepower. Equipped with Stanig 4569 Level 4 A4B standard armor, it can protect its crew against explosions of up to 10 kg of TNT under any wheel or the hull itself. Its armor can also withstand 14.5 mm rounds fired from 200 meters away. In its latest infantry fighting vehicle IFV version, it is equipped with a 30 mm turret and has the capacity to transport three crew members plus eight fully armed personnel. With a payload capacity of 7 tons, it can be modified into a recovery vehicle, ambulance, or tank destroyer with a 105mm cannon. According to a video published on April 1, 2024, by the Iraqi Defense Industries Commission, Iraq has reportedly launched the local production of what seems to be the Chinese VN-22, a 6x6 armored personnel carrier. The VN-22 showcased in the Iraqi Defense Industries Commission video is equipped with a one-man weapon station, armed with a Norinco 12.7mm LM-53 barrel Gatling-type machine gun. The Iraqi Defense Industries Commission is actively pursuing a strategic blueprint aimed at bolstering Iraq's defense capabilities. Among its key objectives, the establishment of a cutting-edge defense industrial base stands out. This initiative seeks to fulfill the comprehensive needs of Iraq's armed forces and security apparatus, encompassing a wide array of weapons equipment and ammunition. Recent defense relations between China and Iraq have significantly deepened, primarily centered on economic cooperation, infrastructure development and energy. These developments come amidst Iraq's broader attempts to rebuild and stabilize the country following years of conflict.
China has been a key player in Iraq's reconstruction efforts, especially in the oil, agriculture, and housing sectors. In 2019, Chinese companies agreed to construct 8 million residences across almost all provinces in Iraq, showcasing the scale of China's involvement in the country's infrastructure development. This agreement was part of a broader initiative during the visit of the then Iraqi Prime Minister Adil Abdul Mahdi to Beijing, highlighting a quantum leap in bilateral relations between the two nations. In January 2024, it was announced that Côte d'Ivoire acquired an undisclosed number of Chinese-made VN-22B. According to another source, the vehicle is also in service with Senegal police forces. China has been significantly increasing its defense industry presence in Africa. Employing a range of strategies that include arms sales, the establishment of maintenance centers, and investment in training facilities. The Aviation Industry Corporation of China AVIC has been particularly active. Setting up an aviation training center in South Africa, maintenance and support centers in Tanzania and the Republic of Congo, and spare parts warehouses in Kenya, Zimbabwe and the Republic of Congo. These initiatives aim to support the sales and maintenance of Chinese-made aircraft, including both civilian and military models. Moreover, the military cooperation extends to the sale of trainer aircraft, with at least 80% of the trainer aircraft fleet operated by African Air Forces being Chinese-made. This includes various models such as the Y-12 turboprop trainer aircraft and the L-15 trainer jets, indicating a deep penetration of Chinese military hardware into the continent's defense sectors. Beyond the aviation sector, China's involvement in sub-Saharan Africa is multifaceted, extending to investments, trade, and cultural exchanges, which underscore the broader strategic objectives beyond merely resource extraction Atlantic Council. These developments highlight China's ambition to strengthen its defense ties with African nations, potentially reshaping the defense landscape of the continent and expanding its influence in the region.